All right, so here's something else I want to do. Here's a second example. This is the SB500 example, all right? So now New York opening is 10 past 3, uh, which is eight, uh, which is 10 minutes past 8 in the morning, and 1600, okay, this is the time period we've got. This is 9 a.m. in New York, and this is 10.15 to 10.55 in New York, all right? So what do we want to do? Also, swing days for the week. Now, if you take a look at your members area, you'll see that SP500 has a Monday and Tuesday. All right, so what does that tell you, Monday or Tuesday? Well, let's take a look. The market's already down. Okay, so this is, let me just see. As you can see with the SP500, right, last week, swing days coming all the way into Thursday and Friday. So Monday or Tuesday. So we're either going to make a low here, okay, and we're going to push up into a Tuesday here or here, okay, or we're going to come back down on a Tuesday hang around here and push up. Now, remember, if you take a look at this morning's video, I talked about 4,297, right? So between 4,297, if I just make this a little bigger, then you'll see what's going on. Right, here it is. This is the SP500. Now, look, these were the Astro hours for today, all right? So the market, as you can see, in between that first range, pushed up and then came back down again into an Astro hour, here, these two astro hours, right? Was that? That's the opening. So I opened up a trade on the pullback, okay, which came into the astro hours right here. Look, both of them, okay, nice and clean. And the market jumped up right in there. Once again, look, just like with the gold, this is a daily pivot. So the trade is already covered. There's nothing to talk about, all right? So the trade is already covered. We've taken some profit. I can put the stop up to wherever I want, even up to profit, and then let it go. If Monday, Tuesday is a swing low, or if Monday is a swing low with this one, let's say, and the market keeps pushing up, we should go up at least into the weekly pivot. What I'm trying to basically say here is this, okay? When the market is crashing down, it's very important to understand how you're going to go against it because you're going to be scared pretty much when the market's falling that far down. So you've got to have a zone where you're going to buy. And this is why I've got the PST levels. Look, this is what I'm also giving every morning in the videos. When I give a PST level, you know, think about it. Why is he giving that? 4,297.37. Now look at the low of this. 4,298.30. That is bloody accurate. And then it happens to be an astro hour. You could have even gotten in there. OK, but I wanted to wait for this specifically to see if we're still going to be hanging around at the lows, because if we are going to be at the lows, the aspects that the market is showing me is good to take off. Now, I've got another two strong aspects coming in. They're going to be in the evening around here, 1030 to 1130. And these are going to be pretty rough as well. So the market can come still down into these and then take a twist in the Asia session, and remember what I just showed you here, right? I said then should flow into Asia session. So if the market does come down, we want to be looking for a reversal in the Asia session as well. So what I'm just basically trying to say is you've got to match your technical analysis with your astro hours and don't muck around in the middle of nowhere. There's a reason I'm giving daily levels. There's a reason I'm giving weekly levels, all right? So there's a reason for these levels here. Everybody is quite scared buying against that. You've got the ability to go against the market, but you've got to make sure you've got a good, solid technical analysis level, plus you've got the Astro Hours on your side. I don't know if I'm making myself clear, but this is the kind of trade setup that you need to look into. And then by the time we get to the daily pivot, you're already one to two. The trade is covered. You've taken profit. You can move your stop up and you can just let it run or do whatever you want to do and you can get a good night's sleep. This is how astrology is crucial in terms of timing when we're trading at the Global Trader Club. And it makes sense when you know what you're doing with your technical analysis. Okay, so this is the ATAM strategy that I'm using with my time, space, and motion indicator. Pretty soon it's going to be also for MetaTrader 5. But at the moment, this is for MetaTrader 4. As you can see, the price and the timing are really, really important. So you can get your head in there the right time and the right price. Okay, so I hope this example here as well worked out for you. This morning I put an um, example on gold in the afternoon and this is an SP500. I just want to put this in there because 
this was the afternoon session New York opens up and this is how you can pretty much trade it in there all right so any dramas if you're in the club let me know